Hello everyone, it's been a while and many features have been added for the Material Texture Loader. This is a quick overview of most new features since version 1.3. Now, before creating a new material, the automatic material name is on by default. And with the material created, you can still change its name in the text box below the thumbnail. You can now also save the thumbnail image as a preview JPG with this button. Let's set up a material real quick and drag it into the Slate Material Editor. You can now directly deactivate a channel to prevent it from creating maps for it. With Update Active we can see the changes taking place. If you deactivate or don't have a diffuse texture, but you do want to use the ambient occlusion texture, the MTL creates a color map to maintain the use of the ambient occlusion map. Conversely, some materials don't have every channel slot available. For instance, the PBR material Rough does not have a slot for the bump channel, and when you create them, no bump map appears in the editor. But with the Arnold standard surface material, for instance, you do want to use the displacement map in a modifier. For these cases, you can activate Use All Channels. It's important to create a new material when you have activated this option, and when you press Add to Slate or Compact, the MTL will add the channel maps to the editor. Now you can use this map wherever you want, and in this way the displacement map shares all the linked UV coordinates and other relevant parameters to maintain material consistency. Next are the channel settings. Here I've added a bunch of options that are specific to each individual channel. V-Ray uses an inverse gamma, where 0.455 matches that of a gamma of 2.2. If we change the value to 4 and activate update, we see the inverse gamma change to 0.25, which is 1 divided over 4. In the channel settings you can also inverse the values. This can be useful if you like to reverse glossiness roughness textures for instance. For V-Ray this means that the invert checkbox is checked. You can also choose to set color spaces to sRGB, this corresponds to a gamma input value of 2.2. Some render engines like V-Ray support ACES color space, you can create bitmaps with that active as well. And finally you can choose to add a color correction map to each channel. This will add a new map in the material setup for you to adjust the color values more specifically. In the map settings you now have the ability to rotate maps. Also, if the render engine supports it, you can activate the random rotation button, which will allow you to randomly rotate texture tiling. You can specify the extent of each random step a texture can make. So set it to 1 and the texture can randomly rotate for the full 360 degrees. The blend value determines how much the randomly rotated tiles blend together. All of the settings that make up the maps and materials can now also be saved inside a preset. If you press the plus icon and type a new name, you can create a preset and all of the channels, maps and material settings will be saved. Once created, you can switch between these presets, even with the update active. With the materials, I've added support for the latest V-Ray, Corona, Redshift and Octane materials, as well as added the possibility to use a two-sided material if the render engine supports that. Looking at the difference between a normal and a two-sided material, you will notice that the translucency map will be used to blend between the front and back material. In the next update this will be expanded upon with support for subsurface scattering. Finally, I've added the ability to use the MTL through MaxScript. This is a topic too broad for this video, but when you buy the MTL there will be full documentation and two sample scripts to show the capabilities of the current API. My new script, the Content Browser, is using the very same API and it basically works as a fully integrated batching tool for the Material Texture Loader. These are all the main new features for the MTL 1.82. Thank you for the support. Let me know if there are any requests for future development.